With VO3, you can get some excellent video by simply typing some text. But a common problem is that I'll often have the perfect video, but the AI voice generated with it won't be exactly what I was looking for or it doesn't match the character. True stealth isn't about hiding, it's choosing the one moment you're finally seen. So let's take a look right here. Honestly, I've crossed nine galaxies and this is the first place where people are more weirded out by my table manners than my eyes. So as you can see, I've got a cool looking alien character for one of my AI skits, but I don't feel like the voice quite matches it. And if you've seen some of the VO3 content on social media, like the Bigfoot vlogs, you'll notice that the voice often sounds similar between content. And I want my voice to stand out. I want my character to have a unique voice. So here's the workflow on how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is download your VO3 footage. Then you want to take this VO3 footage and put it into any video editor that allows you to separate the audio. So here in Premiere Pro, what I'm going to do is set the in and the out and I'm just going to render it as an individual audio file and what this allows me to do is take the audio file and then upload it to the 11 labs voice changer but first I'm going to create the voice so if I go to 11 labs before I click on voice changer I'm going to click on voices and then I'm going to click on create or clone a voice and here we're going to use voice design which now works with v3 to create a custom voice for my alien character so here I just typed out a quirky alien with a British accent, a bit weird, nasal sounding, studio quality. And here the more information and detail you get it, the more unique you can get your voices to be. And then below this we have the text preview. And so here you basically want to put some text to preview the voice that you're about to create. So what you could do is just grab a line from your script, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So here for the text to preview, I've copied a line from the script for my character, and I've also added an audio tag, which basically gives the AI context to better deliver that line. So in this situation, my AI character, the alien, is a little bit nervous, and so I put nervous laughter. Now what we want to do is click generate voice. And so now, as you can see, Eleven Labs has given us three voices, and if we go and listen to them, Greetings, how are you? I'm looking for a latte with... That's a little bit of a quirky alien voice based on the prompt description that I've given it. And so let's listen to the second one. <laughs> oh, greetings, how are you? I'm looking for a latte with, uh... I like this one. I think this one suits my alien character. So what I'm going to do now is just select that voice. And then here, I'm going to call it quirky alien. And then the language, I'm just going to make sure I set it to English. And then I'm going to leave this description, which was my prompt. And so I'm going to save this voice. Now what I'm going to do is head to the voice changer in the left sidebar. And here, I'm going to upload the audio from my original VO3 video. So I just drop it in here like so. And then in the right here, I'm going to search for the voice I've just made. So if I type in quirky alien, as you can see, we have the custom voice that I've just made with voice design in 11 Labs. So I select it. And now I'm just going to click generate speech. And now let's preview it. Honestly, I've crossed nine galaxies, and this is the first place where people are more weirded out by my table manners than my eyes. Perfect. I actually think that voice sounds really good. So it's transformed the previous one into a new voice based on the custom voice I've just made. And you heard there was a little thud in the middle, and that's because when you're using the speech-to-speech -speech technology in Eleven Labs, it picks up all of the artifacts, and you'll understand where that thud came from in just a second. So if I download this audio, so I'm going to download, I'm going to go back into Premiere Pro, I'm going to drag the audio that we've just created and then I'm going to mute the previous one. And so now if we preview it, let's have a look. Honestly, I've crossed nine galaxies and this is the first place where people are more weirded out by my table manners than my eyes. Honestly, I've crossed nine galaxies and this is the first place where people are more weirded out by my table manners than my eyes. I prefer that voice for my character. And so that is how to replace your VO3 character's voices. But one more thing I want to show you is if we actually go back to Eleven Labs and we search for sound effects, what I can look for now is background cafe noise, right? And I'm gonna set this to 10 seconds so it matches my VO3 video. And then I click generate. Here we've got four samples that have just been created. I think the second one did best what I was looking for. I can reprompt, of course, but I'm just going to download this one as well, bring it back into Premiere Pro, and we're going to add it as a new audio track. And then I'm just going to quickly lower this audio 
and then now I've got my full scene. Honestly, I've crossed nine galaxies, and this is the first place where people are more weirded out by my table manners than my eye. And that is how to get better voices in VO3 using Eleven Labs Voice Changer. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, ask in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.